Hey everybody, Taylor here from Child Bella Sewing. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this adorable taco pillow. This is a super fun project and something that you can definitely do at home. Happy sewing! Here are all the supplies that you will need for your taco pillow. You are gonna need a piece of yellow fleece cut into a circle and then you can use any scrap fabric that you have, whether it be fleece or felt, to cut little shapes that will represent the different toppings that go onto a taco. And you can use some black felt or fleece to create a cute little smiley face for your taco. You're gonna need your pins, your scissors, you are gonna need a glue gun, and of course, your sewing machine. Now, let's get started. You might be wondering why we need the hot glue gun. Well, we're actually gonna use the hot glue gun to glue down the smiley face of the taco. So I'm just gonna add some glue. Go ahead, glue both of those eyes down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also glue the smile down. You wanna make sure that you're putting your smiley face on the top half of the circle. Perfect. Okay, now that that's in place, we're gonna go ahead and add some toppings. Now that we have our smiley face in place, we're gonna take our fabric and we're gonna fold it so the smiley face is touching the table. And then I'm gonna take this taco shell and fold it in half. I wanna make sure that my edges right here are as even as they can be, okay? So now I'm gonna take my toppings and I'm gonna go ahead and add the toppings between the two layers. So you can go ahead and you can adjust your toppings however you would like for them to be. This is looking super cute. Great, so I'm gonna add some more lettuce right here. And again, I love the taco pillow because I think it is a great way for you to use some scrap fabric that you already have at home. You can make these toppings out of fleece or felt. That will work best. Gonna add a little onion right here. So that's popping out. Okay. Gonna add that right there for some color and then I'm gonna place this right here. So now that I'm very happy with the arrangement of my toppings, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pins and I'm gonna pin all the way around. When you pin, it's really important that you go through all of the layers. So make sure you go through the first layer of the taco shell, the topping, and the back layer of the taco shell. So go ahead and continue to add pins all the way around, making sure that this is nice and secure. Then when I get over here, closer to the corner, I'm gonna go ahead and add two pins in place right here. This is gonna be a reminder that I am not gonna sew this area closed. I'm gonna leave this area open so I'm able to add stuffing to the inside of my taco. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the sewing. Okay, everybody, now it's time to sew our taco pillow together. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start right above these two double pins. Again, we have to make sure that this part remains open so we're able to add stuffing to our taco pillow. I'm gonna go ahead and elevate my presser foot and I'm gonna go ahead and now lower my presser foot. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sew on the very edge of my taco shell. And I've already adjusted my machine to use a zigzag stitch. So this is the stitch that I'm gonna use to sew this closed, okay? Make sure to reverse when you start and when you finish. Take out your pins as you go. Good. 
This is looking so great. And again, I'm sewing on the edge. When I get to the very bottom, I'm gonna stop and reverse. Perfect. So I've cut my threads, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull my project out. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cute so far. I'm gonna cut this thread from when I started. I'm gonna take my two pins out as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stuffing and I'm actually going to stuff this taco pillow and then we're gonna sew it closed. As you guys can see, I've already started stuffing my taco pillow and it is looking super cute. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more stuffing to it. Make sure when you guys are using your stuffing that you pull it apart in little pieces about four or five times. This will help the stuffing come apart and become extra fluffy in your pillow. So go ahead and just put it in from that opening that we left. And I'm gonna just add a little bit more and then I will show you guys how to sew it closed. But again, I am so happy with the way this taco pillow is turning out. I think it is so cute. Okay, everybody, so we're gonna go ahead and sew that hole closed shut. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some pins and I'm just going to go ahead and pin this in place, the opening. Two pins is all you need to hold that shut. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my taco pillow into the machine. Again, on the edge, I have not adjusted my machine, so it's still on that zigzag stitch. I'm gonna make sure to reverse when I start and when I finish sewing. Taking your pins out as you go. Perfect, I'm gonna cut my threads, pick up my presser foot. Oh my gosh, this is looking so cute, I love it. This is perfect. If you have any loose threads, go ahead and trim those now. Perfect. So here we have our completed taco pillow and I couldn't be happier with it. I hope you guys try this project at home and happy sewing.